let's go to Alaska for a little bit. Uh, uh, every year I get out with some friends and we go whaling. Well, what we do is we, uh, the harpoons have been put away and we use uh, cameras and uh, I, we uh, stick uh, microphones in the water and record the, the songs that the whales sing and uh, work out uh, which of uh, the new calves belongs to which mother and so on. And I'm sure the whales are probably observing us and figuring out the peculiarities of human beings as well. Um, but a few years back, um, we had two boats and uh, along with the adults, we had two girls and two boys. And um, the girls were like, you know, 12 and 13, and they were in their poetry phase. They were just be the most beautiful little flowers, and there was poetry all day long. And we had them for the week, and then the boys came, and the boys were in their machete phase. And uh, it was not the same uh, situation, and we said, no, you can't chop anything on the boats, but we would put them at shore at night, and I swear there would be these giant driftwood logs, and they would spend all night hacking them down in the toothpicks. So it was early uh, summer in Alaska. You get these long hours of daylight. The sun just barely goes down and takes its time doing that. And then just stays below the horizon for a few hours and comes back up. So that magic hour of dawn and dusk just blends together for four or five hours. So it was just the beginning of the twilight. We'd been out with the whales all day. And we went to take a little shore leave. And the girls, uh, uh, the two girls put on their rain gear because there was still a little snow slope. Even though the flowers were out, there was a little snow slope that came down by the water, so they were gonna go uh, sledding on their, on their behinds with their rain gear. So we uh, picked some flowers and the girls did a little sledding on their bums. And then we uh, got to the little inflatable boat to go back to the mothership. And it was just one of those perfect moments in life when everything is serene, it's so beautiful and all is well in the world. And as the girls are paddling us back, they say, let us take the boat back. So we're doing these sort of lazy S's. We're gonna to get to the mothership eventually. And one of the girls told me later, she was thinking what an interesting word eternity is. And then the other girl just started chanting, I feel giddy, I, I feel giddy. And, and all of a sudden we were all chanting, we're giddy on eternity, we're giddy on eternity. And so, uh, I thought, that's a song, so I picked up the guitar uh, on the mothership, and this is what came out. Fishing for halibut deep in the sea, 
They loved us so much that they let us eat their cheeks and then we're giddy on eternity. Giddy on eternity. We're giddy, giddy, giddy. is Ellie, age 12, and uh, line 2 and 4 is David, and I don't know how old I was, but I was older than 12. Earth, a word without compare to any other. Big blue marble, she's everybody's mother. A sip from her stream becomes a river inside you. Love, that's the thing that she provides you to the only journey. Look at them spout, and when they get hungry, they just open up their mouth. 